That was like the most scariest thing I've ever done. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back. Another episode of, uh, of a kayak ride. Man, today's beautiful. Uh, I got my helmet on. I got my helmet mount on. Oh, oh crap. Mm. I have my, my belt on. Uh, I don't really want my belt. So, hold on. Gotta, gotta go back to the truck. Take off my belt. Well, you know what? It has, uh, there's actually nothing in here. Everything in here can get wet, so, except for my, yeah, I'll take my belt. I will take my belt with me. Everything in there can get wet. Yeah, yeah, okay. Never mind. I don't have, my, my phone is in a, uh, waterproof case. That's the only thing. And everything else. Yeah, it's just cards, money, my firearm. Okay, so, all right, so today's a beautiful day. I'm gonna go kayaking today, as you can see here. Kayak fun. So the, the most interesting and hardest thing about kayaking, believe it or not, is getting in the kayak and getting out. So uh, this is gonna be interesting. I brought, I did bring my binoculars just for me to go out there and take a look. And uh, the decking is kinda high, so let me just push this out here. Should be real easy. I've done this, I've done this before. So it's not like, this is not rocket science by any means. Okay. This is not rocket science by any means whatsoever. Okay. Uh, so I got a rope. I tied it to my to my thing here. Uh, okay. So again, the the most fun part of kayaking is getting in and out of the kayak. So uh, wish me luck. I got my fanny pack on. Uh, okay, fanny pack. Oh well. All right. So wish me luck, everybody. Okay, I'm in. Uh, I'm in. So, getting in can be... Uh, okay. So, getting in may be the easy part. Then I'm going to adjust the straps. Just the back the seat straps here. Okay. So, getting in was probably the easy part. I just did the hardest part right here. I'm gonna go ahead and just grab my paddle, which I ingeniously, let me see, how's it gonna go? It's gonna go something like, like this, there we go. I ingeniously tied to a rope so I don't lose it. And here we go. Uh, all right, I'm in. I'm in like Flint, gosh. Is this the furthest it's out? Yep, it's a short paddle. All right, everyone, we are off. Uh, the Insta 361 is in a waterproof casing. So, yep, there we go, everyone. We are off. Uh, uh, yep. <laughs> I am kayaking, everyone. Oh, it's about 12 in the afternoon. I got the GPS going here. Hopefully, the telemetry, telemetry data will show up. Let's go to the island. Let's go to Fantasy Island, the flooded island. I don't see any alligators. I don't think there's going to be any alligators today. Oh. Wow. This has no rudder. This is a very cheap kayak that I got at Academy for $150 or I got it on sale. It was their older models. Some of the newer models look pretty good, but I got what I got. So I'm going over to Fantasy Island. Oh, 
What time is it? Okay. Uh, so hopefully you're all enjoying your day. It's a little different. I usually ride my red power bike, but my red rover. I'm checking this out. <laughs> Look at this place is so flooded. Jeez. I'm gonna I'm gonna roll right through it. Wow, look at this place is flooded. This is an island. It's supposed to be an island. They're blocking the water. Gosh, it's at least four foot above this island. I see little birds. I see birds just hang out here. I don't see any alligators. <laughs> uh, so far I am having fun you know I don't own a yacht and never plan on getting a yacht but I can own a kayak and man I have to tell you this is this is fun all right so all right I went through the island I'm gonna go through the tunnel and I'm gonna go through the other side so I'm going to conserve some time here, or maybe I'll let it go. i got to watch out for fogging on the Insta 361. Uh, uh, I got some wind. Let me see, where is the wind blowing? Maybe I do have some tailwind here. Well, I hope you, everyone's here is enjoying the, the nice little ride. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna conserve some of the battery because I didn't bring anything electronic-wise. Uh, when I get to the tunnel, I'll cut in from there, all right? But I'll, I will let the GPS go so you can see the telemetry data. I am getting a good workout on my arms, I'll tell you that much. All right. Oh, there's a bird right there. I would never get close to a bird. So, okay, I'm gonna check out. I'm gonna check out. Those are like little uh, shore birds or lake shore birds. They hang around the lake and they eat little bugs and little fishes. Uh, I see it right there. There it is, right there. So, uh, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll see y'all later, okay? All right, everyone, <laughs> I made it over here to the to the tunnel area. I'm gonna cross over. Let's see what happens. I checked it out, it looks clear. I'm just gonna have to be careful about the head mount. That's the only thing I have to be careful about. Uh, I may have to take off the helmet. I may have to take off the helmet, oh uh, yeah. So excuse me while I, while I take off the helmet. Let me see, yeah, I'm gonna have to take off my helmet. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'm gonna cross over and put the helmet back on because there's no way it's gonna, it's gonna fit. I don't think it is. Okay, I'll just put it right in front of me. All right. Let me see here. Put the helmet right, right here, so it uh, doesn't get damaged. All right. Ooh. Ooh. Let's put the helmet down, down. There we go. Oh, my head is clearing. Ooh, there's spiders here. Oh God. I, I am wearing the buff. Oh, there's spiders. Uh, spiders everywhere. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Ah, uh, spiders. Spiders. Whew. Trying to knock out the spider webs here. Ugh, gross. A lot of spiders. Hopefully none of them are dangerous. Most likely they're not. I don't see anything 
floating in the water here. Oh, a lot of spiders coming up. There's a huge spider right there. Oh, oh, oh. I'm gonna have to knock that off. I'm gonna knock that off. A spider web. Ah, uh, there's a spider web right there. Yeah. Sorry, spider. I just, yeah, that thing ran. Okay, oh, there's another spider web right there. Oh, God. Uh, maybe this wasn't a good idea. Uh, 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 there's a spider web right there. Uh, ugh. Sorry, guy. That, that spider could walk on water. That spider's walking on water. Incredible. Oh, don't come over here, spider. Go over there. Over there. Okay. Uh, another spider over here. Jeez. Maybe this wasn't a good idea. There's like spiders galore all over the place. Oh my gosh. I'm glad I'm wearing my buff. Uh. Oh, 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 big spider right here. Oh, big spider right there. You don't want to, I don't want you to be rounding me when you fall. I don't want you to be around me when you fall. Oh, God. Wow. I'm spending more time in here than I wanted to. I really am spending more time than I wanted to down here. Oh. Oh. Navigating through here is a challenge. Ugh. Spider, get off of me. quicker I get out of here, the faster I can get to the other side. Oh. 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 This is a bad idea. Oh, the good news is at least it'll be cleared when I, when I come back out the other way. I hope. It looks pretty clear. Oh my gosh. Spiders, I hate spiders. Oh. Oh, God. God. Sorry, man. Oh. But, man, I just don't want to. I don't want you crawling on me. Okay, I'll leave you alone. Oh, but if you see it, if I see a web like this, I'm going to knock you out. I'm going to knock you out. Oh. oh. Sorry, dude. I just... Ugh. light at the end of the tunnel here soon. Oh yeah. I think I don't, I don't think there's anything wrong with these. Uh, I think they're harmless, but man, I just just oh, god. I mean I just don't want to deal with this. I just don't want to deal with spiders crawling on me. I can see why, you know, like a lot of flies and insects and mosquitoes would be coming down this this low, flying through here to get to the other side. And there's a wind current. I'm gonna knock all this out. I'm gonna knock all this out. Okay, I just want to make sure that's that's good. Okay. Ooh. 
I made it. I made it to the other side. Oh, God. That was the most scariest. That was like the most scariest thing I've ever done. <laughs> oh, God. All right, let me put my helmet on. Oh, oh God. That was the most scariest thing I have ever done. Oh my god. Okay. Oh. I'm putting the buff back over my face. Oh. Oh, I see a crawl I see a spider just crawling right there. walk on water. Oh, God. I'm looking around me. There's oh, spiders all over the place. Oh, that was a small little spider. All right, <laughs> everyone. I made it to the other side. Oh. oh, man. Okay, let's get going. Oh, this is like one of the most uncomfortable kayaks I've ever been on. But anyways, it was the cheapest kayak. Oh, it's a lot calmer down here. Not a lot of wind. It's like, oh yeah, I could steer a lot easier. I see some turtles here and there. See their little noses popping up. This thing has no rudder. Oh. This this water looks uh, really looks kind of blue, but it's like more like green. The real color of this water is like brown, and they diet it looks nice i wouldn't swim in it or anything looks like it doesn't harm the wildlife looks good i never explored this area i want to explore it uh, uh, i feel like uh, i'm gonna cross my legs there we go is this any better is this any better? No. Uh, I'm just trying to find something comfortable. My feet is kind of all cramped up in the in the middle, in the front right there, but. For the most part, I'm having fun. I have to admit, I am having fun. I haven't really kayaked this part of the lake. I went through it, but I didn't want to go through it. But I went, I think last time I went through the tunnel, but I didn't come here that, that much. Oh, my ankles are aching. My feet cramped up in the middle here. Let's see if I... I feel a little wind out here on this side. Mainly because of the... I can feel the splash on the fountain. I'm not seeing any wildlife here. Maybe I scared them off. I see a little bird right there. I'm gonna check out that bird. Uh, 
I'm gonna check out that bird. Excuse me while I, oh, it's, it's flying off. Okay, never mind. It's probably thought, thinking I was gonna shoot it or something. But I wanna go over to that edge to the overflow and then kayak back through the tunnel again. I've never been this part, so that's why I'm recording it. Recently, uh, I went to see uh, the uh, the 3D IMAX of of uh, Endgame, the Avengers Endgame. I enjoyed it a lot. I like the 3D. I enjoy 3D a lot. Oh, I might be getting too close here. Oh man, I get I'm getting too close. These, these birds just. I hear a bird. Where are they? See a turtle coming out for some air. This is the overflow. I think they're going to eventually open it up because there's a, some water there, and eventually this will go into an underground lake area. So this is what's causing the flooding out here. So this is what's causing the flooding or the water rising. Anyways, so. I watched the uh, movie Endgame, and I, I enjoy good 3D, no matter what type of movie it is. And the fact that it's a Marvel movie kind of made it even a little bit more fun. I, I hear birds, but I don't see any anywhere. I'll turn around now. So, I have to admit, uh, as far as the plot, I, I'm, <laughs> I, I'm a little... I have to laugh at it because they really jumped a shark in this thing. It was a very complicated, it's a three hour movie. Oh, there's a bird right there. It's one of those shore birds. You know, they got long beaks and they kind of got a webbed, webbed feet. Really small. I don't know what they, they, they eat at little bugs maybe. Let me take a, let me get binoculars out. I also do this for bird watching and exercise and gets me out of the house. Let me see here. Looking at that little bird right there. Oh yeah, that's a shore bird, all right. I don't know what type it is. It's just walking around. It's probably protecting the nest by getting my attention. It's probably thinking it's protecting it, you know. Birds do that. I don't know where they nest. I think they nest on the ground, or maybe they nest on a on a tree. You'd be surprised. Some birds have it. They they habitate on the ground. You think they would be in a tree, but I think they nest in a tree when they mate. But uh, when it comes time to uh, when it comes time to uh, you know mating season, which is spring, they'll they'll be in a nest, and then all the other times they're they're living on the ground for the most part. Interesting. Okay, just little things you pick up or you realize you start to appreciate appreciating nature. Okay, anyway, so I'm gonna, <laughs> I'll cut out here. I'm gonna save my battery life. Uh, I brought the truck, so I got, I'll be out here for at least a couple hours. And, uh, you know, I'm gonna do some bird watching, just slowly kayak around. It's kind of nice because nobody else is gonna do this where I live. They're either too busy or they just don't do this kind of stuff. And uh, uh, I got this all to myself. They're at work. You know, they're, everybody's working. That's why they're not here. So, anyways, uh, I'll see you on the other side. I'll I'll head to the tunnel and 
maybe get back. I'm not sure. All right.